Hello friends, today is our medical discussion episode number 25. Today we will discuss how to reduce weight. So my first question is to you that there are so many people around us having the problem of increasing weight. So according to you, what are the main causes of increasing the weight? So uh, obesity, this is one of the most important uh, health problem. Uh, in most of the people coming to our obesity, uh, OPDs. So obesity, the main cause of obesity lies in our diet and uh, the lack of exercise. So our diet mainly it consists of carbohydrate, protein and fat. So nowadays most of the diet, the amount of saturated fat and the amount of extra calories or the carbohydrate has started increasing and the, the amount of fruits and vegetables in our diet has start decreasing. So uh, the, uh, a diet which is rich in high saturated carbohydrate, a diet which is rich in uh, trans fat, a diet which is rich in high calories. So such type of diet automatically increases the amount of bad uh, cholesterol or the bad fat in our body which ultimately lands up in increasing weight or obesity. Moreover, the lifestyle of the people has changed dramatically. There is uh, lack of exercise, there is lack of ex active lifestyle, and there is, uh, the, there is a uh, shift towards the sedentary lifestyles among the people. So these two are the most important factors which has uh, lead, uh, lend, uh, uh, land up in increasing weight or obesity. Obesity, it is one of the most important health problems uh, leading to a lot number of complications. With obesity, the, there is uh, uh, with uh, gradual atherosclerosis of the arteries which uh, results in uh, heart problems, which can result in stroke in future, which can result in increased BP at a very early age. Moreover, with obesity, there is also associated increased risk of cancers, increased risk of arthritis and a lot number of problems which comes along with increasing weight. So uh, obesity, the two most important cause is abnormal diet which is rich in high carbohydrate, high uh, trans fat and a lack of uh, exercise and a sedentary lifestyle. Uh, so if we can modify these two factors, then it's very, uh, it will be possible. Possible, uh, to uh, reduce the incidence of obesity. So we have to look after these two factors uh, and obesity as I have already said that it results in a lot number of complications. So to reduce such complications it's important that we take step to reduce obesity. Thank you sir. So uh, my second question is to you that so most of the people used to say like uh, taking more fat it, it leads to uh, we increase the weight. So is it really true? And sir, would you like to explain the, what is keto diet? See, fat is an important part of our diet. It's not that fat is, uh, fat, taking fat is very harmful to body. It's not that. Fat is the most important part of our diet. Uh, fat has a lot number of functions. One of the most important function is that from the diet it helps to absorb the essential nutrients. Some of the vitamins requires fat to be absorbed uh, in, uh, to the body. So uh, it help in the absorption of those nutrients. The second important function of fat is the protection of our various organs. The various organs inside our body has got a layer of fat surrounding it uh, and whenever a person is injured or whenever a person falls from height, so this is the fat which protects those internal organs. The third important function of fat that it uh, helps to avoid the heat loss from our body. It maintains the normal temperature of our body and also it protects the body from external cold. So to maintain the warmth and to maintain the temperature of the body, uh, the layer of fat around the body is very important for us. Moreover, fat also has an important function of producing a lot number of important hormones. Most of the hormones requires fat as a cofactor for its production. So fat does a lot number of important functions. But the amount of fat that we take in our diet is important. There are mainly two types of fat. One is the saturated fat, another is the unsaturated fat. Saturated fat contains the lot number of bad cholesterols which is harmful to the body. 
fat, uh, the saturated fat, it includes coconut oil, it can include ghee, uh, cheese, butter and all. So, any fat which solidifies, uh, uh, which remains in a solid state or which solidifies during cold are saturated fat. So, saturated fat is somewhat harmful to the body, but the unsaturated fat like mustard oil, olive oil, cranberry oil, uh, then rice bran oil, canola oil, these are important for our health. So, this type of uh, fat, they are contain omega-3, omega-6 fatty acid and these are very important for maintaining the normal homeostatic or the balance of our body. So, it is not that, that fat is a very harmful substance to take. Fat is one of the most important component of the diet, but the amount of the fat and the type of the fat which we eat it matters. So, it is important that a person reduces the amount of trans fat or saturated fat in the diet with that he should uh, take normal or even he can increase a bit of the, uh, uh, the unsaturated or the polysaturated uh, fat oils. Next, it's, uh, there is a misconception about the keto diet. Most of the people think that keto diet is the uh, diet which has a lot number of imp uh, yeah, that increased protein and less carbohydrate. It is not like that. Keto diet is mainly that diet which uh, contains very little carbohydrate, almost less than 5 percent carbohydrate with the normal amount of protein that is 1 to 1.5 gram per kilogram protein with, uh, with uh, normal or even increased fat intake that is the keto diet. Keto diet mainly helps in reduction of the weight. So, a person to reduce weight should decrease the amount of carbohydrate he is taking with that he should take normal protein and even he should take a, a bit of a more um, uh, of uh, unsaturated fatty acid and reduce the amount of saturated fat in his diet. Thank you sir. So, uh, now we would like to know that how the diet control and exercise can help in the reduce the weight. Can you, how can you allow it sir? So, I have already said to reduce weight, a person should concentrate to modify his diet and also to uh, change his lifestyle where a lot of important uh, cardio exercises are present. So, regarding the diet, a person should uh, take 50 percent of his meal uh, full or uh, filled with vegetables and fruits. Fruits mainly contain less than 20 percent of carbohydrate. So, 50 percent of his diet should be filled with fruits and lot number of green vegetables. The rest 50 percent should uh, contain carbohydrate and protein. With that, the protein should consist of 25 to 30 percent of the meal and the remaining should be carbohydrate. So, he should decrease the amount of carbohydrate in diet. With that, he should increase the amount of protein and the amount of unsaturated fatty acid in his diet. More uh, he will reduce the amount of extra calories, the more he will, uh, it will help to reduce the weight. With that, he should also try to do regular exercise. The exercise it should uh, be it should consist of around 150 minutes of a weekly routine. So it's not that a person should daily exercise one hour, two hour like that. He should the total duration of exercise should be around uh, 150 minutes in a week. It's not that much. So if a person regularly does 15 to 30 minutes of brisk walking, swimming. Uh, he can do cycling, he can go for skipping, uh, he can go for running. So, this type of cardio exercise helps to burn the uh, extra calories in the body and help in the reduction of the weight. If a person does not reduce weight, does not uh, his weight does not go down even this, uh, with this type of modifications, he should consult a doctor to look for other type of health problems. Uh, mainly, there are certain diseases like thyroid problems which causes increase in weight gain. So, he should check the thyroid. There are, can be some imbalance in the hormones. Mainly, the uh, he should check for the testosterone level. Uh, he should check for the prolactin level uh, or the cortisol level. So, such imbalances in these hormones also results in increased weight gain. There is a condition in the female called the uh, polycystic, kidney, uh, polycystic ovarian disease or PCOD, 
which also uh, causes increased weight gain. So, a person should look for the TSH level, he should look for the FH, FSH, LH and the prolactin level to diagnose such condition. So, if a condition, such condition is diagnosed, such treatment of such condition help in reduction of the weight. But ultimately, a person should concentrate on modifying the diet and uh, uh, go for regular exercise to uh, reduce weight. Thank you for thank you, sir, for this nice uh, medical discussion. We have learned so many things: how to reduce weight, how to maintain uh, the weight. Sir, lastly, what you would like to request to our audience? So, as we all uh, know, that obesity it is a in, uh, it is an alarming health problem in our society. It causes a lot number of problems, uh, ranging from uh, high blood pressure to heart failure and stroke. So, a person should, uh, if a person is overweight, if his BMI is more than 25, BMI means if we uh, compare the weight uh, with the height, then a number comes up and if it is more than 25, that is called obesity. So, if a person is overweight or obese, he should try to modify his diet. He can even consult a doctor how to modify a diet. Uh, he can go for regular exercise and if uh, this does not help, he should uh, do certain tests to diagnose and if any health health problem is leading to such condition. So, I hope this video is very useful for all of you all. I uh, hope you will all like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you all. Thank you.